According to statistics, the European Union not only has the tallest people, but also the highest level of education and quality of studies. However, these 27 countries are distinguishable from one another not only by their food. Let's take Lithuania as an example. Through their almost 3 million inhabitants, they have 5 million active SIM cards. In addition, they use one of the fastest internets in the world. And though Lithuania is more than a thousand years old, its inhabitants are very modern. You can find nearly 2 million Lithuanians on Facebook. It's one of the smallest countries in the European Union. Yet, it is the fourth country in the world in terms of people who have a higher education. Every third Lithuanian has a higher education degree. Education has a long tradition in Lithuania. One of the first universities in Central and Eastern Europe was founded in Vilnius in 1579. One of its graduates, Kazimieras Simonovicius, later created the multi-stage rocket. Over the last few centuries, more than 35 higher education institutions, universities, and colleges have been founded, which have more than 187,000 students, with over 6,000 of them being foreigners. This number is growing every year. Students come to study at Lithuanian universities from 143 countries. The desire for knowledge attracts students from different continents and countries. Among the students that come, 55% of them wear glasses, 9% get homesick, while a large majority of them rank the quality of studies as very good. They can choose from a variety of BA, MA, or PhD programs offered in Lithuania that they can sink their teeth into, in English or in Russian. Though there is a high demand for medicine, business, international relations, design, and media studies, the most popular are the high-tech programs because of their strong training, especially engineering, laser technology, IT, biotechnology, and nanotechnology. Let's take Tato from Georgia. After secondary school, he got into a university in Lithuania and began studying civil engineering. The academic year in Lithuania starts in September and lasts nine months. During his studies, Tato will study eight semesters and have eight vacations. He will drink 1,108 cups of coffee, dress as a monk once, dress as a devil twice, find 124 new friends, spend one semester in Rome as an Erasmus student, fall in love once, become disillusioned with love once, and learn all the rules of the resistance of materials. And four years later, he will receive a diploma that is recognized everywhere in the European Union. And because of reforms in higher education, Tato will be able to continue his studies in one of the MA studies on offer. The same kind of studies in London, Milan, or Zurich will cost four times more on average. Tato won't get bogged down in loans, and will travel to Greenland often to see the whales. Plus, the cost of living is one of the lowest in the European Union. Not only does Lithuania have five national parks, but also five centers known as valleys that integrate scientific research, studies, and business. It is here that students can get invaluable practical experience directly from experts in such fields as engineering, biomedicine, energy, IT, and lasers who work at the most innovative companies developing the technology of the future. Which is why the next time you are thinking of where to study in Europe, study in Lithuania.